One thing that I really think about when I come out to Compassion Night is when I was younger, my dad would take me and uh, we would go into the community and give out canned goods. And that was a seed that just really stuck to me uh, to, to be able to go out and do for others. We have to sometimes get out of the mind frame of, okay, these are homeless people. Let's take the word homeless off and just say, you know what, we're out here meeting people. They all have different stories. They have all been through different things. And they uh, sometimes all they're looking for is a friend and someone to just basically uh, talk to and get to know them. And uh, you know, yeah, we're out here in Atlanta and you know, there's a, this is probably the number one uh, crime city in the, in, probably in the nation. Sometimes some people come with a fear uh, uh, of the unknown, but I think if we just come out uh, with the passion of love, knowing that God is gonna be in the midst of everything, then it just casts out all the fear and all the different thoughts that come to your mind. Um, so we're just basically out here trying to help feed people, uh, not just here in Atlanta, but um, there's also uh, things that we could do in our own backyard. You know, it always starts with at home. You know, our home church, our families. My name's Amberly. Um, I've been working with the Dream Center for about two, almost two and a half years. Yeah. And um, these people here really have my heart. That's one thing I always think about is never take for granted your family. Never take for granted a house or a roof over your head, food on the table. Sometimes we complain about some things that we think are big, but they're actually small. Um, you know, each night you don't have to worry about someone taking your stuff when you're laying down and uh, worrying about if somebody's going to stab you. And there's that's literal. Like there's the different things that they go through that are strenuous. We just can't take it for granted.